Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Owl Athletics. I'm Justin Mahan. The men's basketball team is off to a tough start after a close loss to Southern Vermont College Wednesday night. About four minutes into the game, the Owls were able to turn offense into defense with this block by Ben Olson, setting up the layup for Ty Nichols to lead Keene State 8-3. Five minutes later, the Owls went up 19-13 with a three-point basket from freshman Miguel Prito. The Owls picked things up in the second half with a rebound from Ben Olson, who sent it back to Nichols to set up Jake Dunkley for the hoop. Keeping up the momentum, Dunkley got the feed from C.D. Diallo to make a three-point basket to take a 61-53 lead. Mountaineers scored 20 of the final 26 points to take a 73-67 win. The Owls will be back in action on Saturday for a 5.30 p.m. tip-off against Plattsburgh State. The men were not the only team to come up short Wednesday night. The women's basketball team struggled to get a footing in their non-conference battle against Westfield State. Keene took an early 5-0 lead with a basket by Emily McPadden, followed by a layup from Kenzie Bennett. Westfield evened up the score shortly after, then hit the ground running. After a back-and-forth first quarter, Westfield State dominated the court with nine unanswered points to start off the second. Keene State couldn't bounce back, falling 89-56. Keene State kicks off their home games on Friday, taking on Framingham State, tipping off at 4 p.m. The cross-country season is now officially over after competing in the NCAA New England Regional Race on Saturday. The men placed 18th out of 55 teams, with Philip Parent leading the way with a 102nd place finishing time of 27 minutes and 11 seconds. Ichik Youssef and Cam Giordano were glued to Parent's hip throughout the race, finishing just a few seconds after. And the women placed 32nd out of 56 teams, with freshman Christina Martin finishing a 178th place time of 24 minutes and 25 seconds. Martin was followed by Alana Ollendorf with a time of 24 minutes and 31 seconds, and Brittany Gravelise with a 24 minute and 36 second finishing time. Playing a sport in college while juggling classes is a real challenge for athletes. Now imagine playing not one, but two sports, like Nicole Dalmeda, who is with us in studio today to tell us how she does it. Nicole, welcome to the show. Nice to be here. So, two sports on top of classes, how do you juggle the workload? It's a lot of time management, like I'm very busy always going from class to practice, to games, to doing homework and things like that, so it's just a lot of focusing on when I have free time, being productive in that free time and doing my homework and getting it done ahead of time. Now you compete in soccer as well as track. How did you get into those two sports? Uh, I've always played soccer while growing up. I started when I was about five because my sister had always played it. So I've, that's been my main sport since I was younger. And then I was in high school and I wanted to like stay in shape for soccer and I wanted to become a 12 season athlete. So I decided to try out track because people have always told me you're fast, so give it a try. So I did and I ended up loving winter track. So then I continued and did spring track, and then it just happened that I fell in love with both sports and wanted to continue both of them in college. Now, what's the training and transition like going from a fall sport to a winter sport? Um, it's pretty different, like going from soccer, especially to track, because soccer is more like a endurance and also it's like a skill sport where it requires like doing something else while running, where track is mainly like a lot of speed and endurance and just straightforward running. So it's slightly different, but they're pretty similar and they help each other out, so the endurance I get from soccer transits in into track and the speed I get from track goes into soccer. So. Now you mentioned wanting to become a 12 season athlete. Mm -hmm. um, what, would you, what kind of advice would you give to students trying to do exactly what you're doing? It's going to be a lot of work and there's going to be a lot of times where it's hard and you're going to be tired and you're going to be sore, but it's just you got to push through it and like if you really are committed to your sports you will be willing to do that and just always focusing on time management. That's, that's a really big thing. Well, Nicole, thanks for joining us, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too. And with Thanksgiving right around the corner, students, faculty, and staff are preparing to spend some time with family and friends. I took a trip around KSC Spalding Gym to ask members of the athletic department what makes Thanksgiving special for them. As the semester winds down, KSC students, faculty, and staff are getting ready to leave campus for the Thanksgiving holiday. But what makes Thanksgiving so special? We asked a few athletic staff members about their memories with this food-filled holiday. Football, obviously. Um, watching my sons play when they were playing football, high school football, and then throwing the football around. My favorite part about Thanksgiving is making all the food and lining up the mini marshmallows on our sweet potato um, that we make for, for dinner. Running with my dog. And I'd see people out doing the same thing, walking the dog, running, and I think it's because they feel guilty about all the food they're going to eat. So 
we get up early in the morning, go running. Sometimes it was snowing, which was neat to see the snow falling on Thanksgiving. I think that's cool. But uh, more or less, just getting out, enjoying the day, and understanding why you're doing it because you're trying to wear off all the food you're going to eat, but also uh, the special people that you're going to see on that day. I think that's the most important thing. As my dad used to say, it's not, it's not what's on the table, it's what's sitting in the chairs. And I think that's the most important thing you get from Thanksgiving. Winter sports are in full force heading into the Thanksgiving holiday. Men's and women's swimming and diving teams head to Wheaton College, taking on Springfield and Wheaton Colleges at 1. And the men's basketball team hits the road to face Plattsburgh University for a 5.30 tip-off. And the women's basketball team will compete at home on Saturday in the tip-off tournament against St. Joseph's and Babson. And as always, you can catch all Keen State action on the Athletics website. Just go to KeenOwls.com, click on the Game Day tab, then select Live Broadcasts. Again, that's KeenOwls.com, Game Day, then Live Broadcasts. There's a lot more action heading into the next few weeks. Tune in to KeenOwls.com for all updated schedules. That's all for now and from all of us here at Inside Owl Athletics. We hope you have a fun and safe Thanksgiving weekend. For Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Justin Mahan.